What's up guys and welcome back to Tackle the World. We are in Juneau, Alaska. It is really cold right now. But we're doing a little hike anyways because this time of year the weather's never that great. If you spend the whole time waiting for the perfect day, we're gonna be waiting till summer. <laughs> <laughs> and for this video we'll be taking you to some of our favorite places in Juneau. And right now we're doing one of our favorite easy hikes in Juneau. A little challenging still, but it's very well maintained, which is great for when it's raining or about to rain. This one's at Eagle Crest Ski Resort. And we've already gone to one of my favorite places here in Juneau, which is Amago's Distillery. I got the Unfigitable. It's a fig drink. And this is small enough that maybe I'll get the guava next. We do have a meeting after this, but I think I could do it. Oh, so good. I love Amalgas so much. There's a sign at the front that says you can only have two drinks, and that's actually for reals. In Alaska, at breweries or at distilleries like this, you can only have two drinks. And you're thinking like, oh, that's so responsible of Alaska. You can actually go to the bar, a normal bar, and drink as much as you want. The law only applies to breweries and these distillery places. A bit unfair. I got it in my throat. <laughs> it tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Tastes like it looks. But that I got just a good old fashioned gin and tonic. And the gin and tonic is actually really good. Very refreshing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a really good gin and tonic. Mm. I do like that a lot. Their gin is so good here. Also the whiskey. And hopefully they're restocking while we're here because I'm ready to leave with like a few bottles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they make some of the best cocktails. Your favorite place in Alaska. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be going there again since we only had one drink. I mean, we could only drink two, so. <laughs> There's more that I want to try. Yeah, they make really great whiskey too, but unfortunately it's not bottled yet that the ones that they're making next. We're ready for the rain to start with this hike. Got our rain gear on. Yeah, Taka needs, Taka needs to upgrade his rain gear. Yeah, this is like, this is a tur tourist rain gear. Yeah, I've got the uniform of Alaska on. Grundians. Grundians? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like uh, actual rubber. Yeah, it works really well. It really is the uniform of Alaska. Everyone seems to wear it here. When a baby is born here, they swaddle it in one of these instead of a blanket. <laughs> If you're going to be coming to Southeast Alaska, you really need this kind of jacket. It rains a lot here. It's a rainforest. Yeah. Summer's over. When the fireweed is gone, that means summer's over. We just passed somebody who warned us that it gets really windy up there. So we'll see how far we make it. It's so pretty here. We're not even at the top yet. And on a sunny day at the top, ooh, it's beautiful. Here comes the rain and some wind. So we don't eat in a lot of restaurants in Alaska, just because there aren't that many. But most of the good ones are seafood and we catch all of our seafood. There's not really a point in paying a lot of money for something we can do or much cheaper. But if you're looking for seafood, so I would recommend Deccan Dave, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make some good seafood tacos. The other thing we do eat when we come to Alaska though is Palmini. There are these yummy dumplings originating from Russia, I believe. When Alaska was Russia. Yeah. We've been eating them here for a long time. Yeah. And uh, they're basically just little dumplings that has a bunch of butter. Curry. Curry powder. Sriracha, sour, sour cream. Sour cream. Mostly butter. And a little bit of cilantro just to, oh, yeah. just little, to get a garnish. <laughs> a little garnish. So we enjoyed those already. We got one beef. Bread. Let the bread get a little warm in there. Got the potato. Basically looks identical. A little sour cream. Mm. Little pillows of potato. So delicious. And after this hike, we're gonna go over to our oyster spot. So we'll see you guys there. Candy, but... Oh, yeah, but 
With the barnacle foods hot sauce. Yum. These little ones are so good. Really sweet. Last one. It's too easy to eat. I know, that was too fast. Too fast. <laughs> These ones are really good. They are. Really super favorite. sweet. Yeah. Sweet, and um, I had to savor that last bite. <laughs> I got the chili as a cucumber. And Taco got the matcha libre, which is one of my favorites, and I always buy their cans. They're also super cheap. I think all the cocktails are between five to eight dollars, which you will never find anywhere else. Mm, true. Mm. This one's really good. I love all things cucumber. I got a second drink. Taku is designated driver, so he's just having one. But I can only have two, so <laughs> <laughs> there will be no third for me. This one's the pog. It's got like pineapple and passion fruit. It's kind of like a tropical -y drink. I think I like the chili cucumber more. This one's really good too. All their drinks are really good. If you're wondering if they check about your drinks, they usually do. And we've also been to breweries that give you a stamp card to yeah. make sure. Weird, huh? I know. It's really but annoying. Breweries is three, three, three beers. Three drinks, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's 36 ounces. Yeah. Yeah. Which, honestly, that's plenty for me, but it's still kind of... It's kind of weird, yeah. So here in Juneau, you can't really drive too far. There's only about 40 miles of road. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So Juneau's not on the road system. Which means that uh, you can't drive here from anywhere, even if you tried. So you either have to fly <laughs> in or you have to take, take a ferry. ferry. That's what we usually do because we have the van. But uh, for this trip, we flew in because it's a quick trip. and We don't really have the time to drive from California through Canada, all the way through Alaska, take a ferry. It takes a lot of time. If you have the time, 100% recommend doing that. It is one of the best road trips you will ever take. One of the most beautiful drives, the yeah. Alaskan highway. And there's so much wildlife. It's, uh, it's a drive worth doing. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot of fun. But I think the next place we'll take you guys to, at some point, is the other place we usually eat here, which is a Vietnamese spot. And you guys know how much we love Vietnamese food. Vietnamese. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we've been making videos on. That's true. <laughs> but we will see you guys there. We got the old friend noodle soup. This spot's pretty nice because it kind of tastes like you're just at someone's house. It's very much a home cooking kind of soup. This one's um, like a hot and sour soup. It's pretty good. Hits the spot on a rainy day. We got the beef noodle, right? Spicy beef noodle? Yep. Mm. Looks nice. That's so good. I think this is my favorite spot in Juno. Oh wow, she's getting through it. Normally she's got a ton of noodles left. Crush it, crush it, crush it. Yeah, the old friend noodle soup is really good. Uh, really flavorful, good sourness. She's got it, oh, she's going in, she's going in. <laughs> Did it, kind of. <laughs> I'd like to thank Takum. He gave me a little assistance. <laughs> he ate some of my noodles, so that helped. Yeah, and I was really hungry. Time to grab a beer. The restaurant is called Lemon Tree Cafe. You don't really see a sign outside, but you see this little Wi-Fi um, sign that they have there. And yep, that's the place <laughs> in downtown Juneau. Right across just, from the Malgas. Right across from the Malgas and just up the street from... The brewery. The brewery, which we're headed to right now. Good way to finish up lunch. Beer afterwards. And this one's a lychee basil sour. Very lychee. Not so much basil, which is okay with me. I love the lychee. Devil's Club Brewery is probably one of our favorite breweries. Honestly, that's one thing Alaska does really well. Beers and the distilleries, really yum. They have a guava sour that's so good. I'll probably buy a bottle or two, three. A little uh, midday snack. Don't mind if I do. Ah. 
I got a Saison. Oh, Saison. And I never get Saisons, but I felt like at yeah, midday, I'm not, not gonna go for the IPA right now. Um, instead, I got something lighter and it's very refreshing, very light, um, easy to drink. I can crush this and it's probably two more gulps. <laughs> uh, so they have a signature IPA here that that's my go-to. It's really good. They have it in cans and they have it on tap as well. So uh, whenever I come, that's usually the go-to. I love trying all their new stuff every time we come. They're always working on something different. Um, earlier or earlier in the week, I got a the double uh, double hazy IPA and that was good as well. If you find yourself in Juno, the brewery is probably one of the places you want to stop by. I think Juno probably has some of the highest concentration of places I like to consume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I can't really say eat if most of it's drinking, but yeah, I think Juno has that biggest concentration of that. I didn't really like anywhere in Anchorage. Yeah, but in Homer it was good. Yeah, Homer's good for the mead, the wine, the ice cream. Oh, the bagels. There's a bagel shop. Okay, so Juno and Homer yeah. has probably the biggest concentration of stuff I like to drink mostly yeah, and uh, eat. But Sitka has the best restaurant, which was pizza at the brewery. <laughs> which is also really good. Fairbanks has some really good Thai spots. We tried to make it up there last year, but unfortunately the wildfires were pretty bad and the smoke was just blowing in and you don't want to be in the van in a smoky place. It's just not fun. Not good for your health, but maybe next year we'll make it up there because I've heard those Thai spots are really good. All right, that's going to be everything for the video. We bought a bottle of gin while we were at Amalga's and we're hoping this coming weekend we'll be able to get a bottle of rhubarb gin, which is only available in person. But we will see you guys next week.